God bless you. I'm Dr. Michael Mosley, and I just wanted to come and give you just a prophetic moment of encouragement. You know, in recent news, many people were discussing about uh, Mr. Jeffrey Owens, you know, the former uh, star of the Cosby Show, or one of the stars of the Cosby Show, who played Elvin. Oh, we all loved Elvin. And somebody recently spotted him, I believe, being a cashier, and tried to make a negative light of his position. And at that time, many people were kind of supporting him and saying, hey, at least he's still working. At least he's still doing uh, what he needs to do to fulfill his dream, to feed his family, and to continue on in life. But I, there was something else that I wanted to look at. And you know, I want to encourage you that could it be that it was all a part of the movie? It was all a part of the movie of his life, the movie of success. You know, every movie has to have a villain, right? Or a book or a story. It has to have that little bad guy or someone that we deem as bad. In fact, even many of us watch many dramas on television, many series, because uh, we, we are so, in, uh, I guess, curious or in, enthralled about that villain, that person that plays the bad guy. You know, the, someone said it this way. In every life, some rain must fall that we can appreciate the joy. So even in those times where there's a villain and when the villain is finally defeated, everybody like, yeah, that'll show him. Yeah, go get him, Superman. All right, Batman and Wonder Woman, right? But I want to encourage you that somebody else right now, you have that villain in your life. And could that villain be placed there by God? What are you saying, Dr. Mosley? Well, the person that took that picture and wanted to possibly expose uh, Mr. Owens and saying, see, he ain't about nothing. He ain't done. Oh, what a shame. Oh, he's not doing good right now. But could it be that that was an ordained move by God to bring exposure to him? What would have happened if that person would have never fulfilled their role that they were playing in the movie to cause that snapshot? What would have happened or what possibly would not have happened? What would not have happened if the villain in your life hadn't played their role? What wouldn't have happened if that person would have never cussed you out or never uh, degraded you or never put the squeeze on you that forced you to quit your job and start your business? What would have happened if that person would have never gotten on your nerves? Sometimes God will use the villain to push you to your next level of success. So what somebody need to do right now is maybe in spirit or maybe if you're bold enough to call your villain and say, you know what? Thank you for playing your role. I'm not angry at you anymore. You were just playing your role to get me to be the best or even be better at what I can be. You were playing your role in my movie. So I thank you. I thank you for making me cry. I thank you for hurting my feelings. I thank you for pushing me to better, pushing me into greater. So why don't you just take a moment right now and think of somebody that was probably your villain, somebody that kind of threw shade your way, maybe on Facebook, maybe in church, maybe on the job, maybe someone that wrote you up, that caused you to be, you know, up on your game a little bit more. Maybe we need to thank that individual because if it wasn't for their particular, what, uh, disgruntlement or their particular issue that they had with us, maybe you wouldn't have gotten the raise, the promotion, or the greater blessing that you're enjoying right now. Thank God for your former church. Thank God for those former people that were around you. Thank God that those persons helped you to see that there's bigger, there is better. Thank God for the landlord that went up on the rent. <laughs> That made you realize, you know what, if I'm paying this, I can pay this and get something better. Sometimes we have to thank our villain. It was all a part of your movie of success. Listen, I want you to stay encouraged and remember, you got to keep talking yourself into greater. I hope you have gotten a copy of the book and hold on. Thank your villain because because of them, greater is now upon you. Blessings, everybody.